Hello, good evening, and welcome to yet another riveting round of cricket and discussion on the Sports Bash YouTube channel. I have with me our regular panelists, Dwaipan and Jay, with me to help us make sense of uh, the second interesting match, a very low scoring one, but uh, an interesting one that took place between Kolkata Knight Riders and Sunrisers Hyderabad. The 49th match of IPL 2021 that took place in the Dubai uh, Stadium. And uh, obviously, we thought that on the Stadium of Dubai, we would expect a high scoring one, but obviously, uh, Hyderabad putting up a rather meager total. Just 115 at the expense of eight wickets, and then Kolkata Knight Riders coming up and chasing the total quite easily uh, in the 16th over and uh, won by six wickets. And uh, yeah, so a uh, clear domination by Kolkata Knight Riders, and uh, the mathematical possibilities suggest at the moment that Kolkata Knight Riders will join RCP into the playoffs. But you never know, Punjab has the slightest chances of getting into the playoffs, so we cannot. Uh, say for sure until uh, we see the final points table. But in order to make sense of how the things unfolded in today's match, I, I have with me Dwaipan and Jai. So uh, my first question to Jai about uh, the very disciplined bowling attack, attack of KKR today. I mean, four uh, bowlers of KKR picking wickets, uh, Sadhi and Mavi, uh, and Chakra, Varun Chakravarti picking up two wickets and then obviously picking up a brace and then we had Shakib picking up the wicket of Abhishek Sharma, uh, picking up a wicket as well. So a very disciplined bowling attack, very economical and putting pressure on a pitch of Dubai where you expect the batsmen to dominate, the bowlers dominated. So your uh, comments regarding the disciplined bowling attack of KK, check. Well, like, you know, today's bowling that we saw, it was really amazing because the way the seamers came out, they held it out the power play, getting Ridhiman Sa out for a golden duck and then getting one wicket after the another after that. Like, you know, the seamers had it and then the spinners did their job and one person that you missed out was Sunil Nareen. Like, you know, the way he kept his economy, although he did not take That's any true. wickets, he built continuous pressure on the batsmen of the SRH's team and they had nowhere to go. Like, you know, if they if other bowlers are coming and they're getting wickets and Sunil Nareen, you can never, like, you know, try and hit out on his balls because he is one of the key bowlers. So, him having the economy, other players taking the wickets, there was nothing more, like, you know, they could ask for from the bowlers. And the score of, like, you know, around 115, 120 was a score that you wouldn't expect at such a place. But with the kind of batting lineup that SRH had, them not having a nice settled, like, you know, uh, opener or the middle order is also with all the fresh people. So, the bowling lineup just went all out and they showed what they are capable of. And it was a really, it was a treat to watch. Right, right. So, obviously, uh, another important part uh, and interesting point raised by Jai that along with uh, the experienced bowling lineup of KKR, we saw a very inexperienced Hyderabad side. Uh, Hyderabad has been making a lot of changes in the teams and nothing has clicked for them so far. And today's performance, I guess, was the most abysmal performance by Hyderabad in a long, long time. I mean, one one five always was never a par score to begin with. And then it was clearly shown in the way KKR bounced back and easily uh, surpassed the score with six wickets to spare. So my question now to Dwaipan about his comments about uh, Hyderabad's uh, batting a lineup and the batting performance today. I mean, Williamson was the only uh, batsman who seemed quite uh, dominant on the outset, but he too was uh, run out by Shakib. Uh, and that changed uh, the course of the game. And then we had uh, a youngster called Priyam Garg along with him, but he, uh, and there were some commentators who commented that uh, we should remind Priyam that it's not an ODI match, it's a 220 match. So he should, you know, keep uh, a sense of uh, the mounting uh, strike rate as well. But yeah, so your comments, Dwaipan, on the SRH's betting performance today and what should have Williamson uh, done, uh, change something, or uh, what should have been his strategy in order to, you know, bounce back and um, ensure uh, that Hyderabad uh, posts a challenge in total against Kolkata. Yeah, I mean, to start off, little has gone the SRH way this season. I mean, everything they have touched, it's a thing that, you know, we say it turns gold for them. It's just burnt away. And but, <laughs> but whatever the plans that they come came up with hasn't materialized into anything substantial for the team as a whole. And today was an extension of that poor run of form, I guess. I almost thought that today, you know, we'd, got, we'd get to see an SRH that, you know, is playing for pride. You know, SRH is still a pride, proud IPL franchise, we on one of our earlier shows, we discussed about them being one of the most successful IPL sites other than MI and CSK, of course. 
so 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 it's 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 been a tough time for them for will for williamson not only for his captaincy but also his own form with the bat today 26 of 21 he he did look good and for a side you know that's down in, in, in the dumps they look at the captain they look at the captain to lead the way that did not happen and interestingly with that i found to be very intriguing people spoke about how williamson you know uh, missed a trick by letting go rashid when the two new batsmen were there at the earlier part of kkr's chase uh, i just want to remind pe- uh, some people about the uh, match between uh, srh and rajasthan this year earlier in the first installment that happened in delhi so the, the in that game butler scored a century and that was something because rashid khan was the first time in a, in his srh career he had been bowled out within the 12th over itself because okay. williamson that time did what people asked him to do today you know he he, he put right. rashid all out at the start and that did not come off because butler was very smart enough to just play him out and then feast on the other relatively inexperienced srs bowlers today will williamson went the other way it did not come off and then people are saying so it just goes to show that whatever you do in a cricket field people are going to find faults in it you just need to back your instincts that is somewhere where i don't blame williamson they you know it just some days it comes up the other days it does not but yeah overall srh would be you know i mean it's it's you just think that uh, yeah, you know we'll just get over it the next mega auction is coming by some new players and then hope you know this change happens soon for them true true so a uh, very interesting point raised by dwaya pan that unfortunately in uh, india we have a lot of cricket fans but the unfortunate part is that we have cricket experts in each and every household and they always try to you know uh, give advice to each and every player about how they should have made some integral changes but i feel that uh, for hyderabad uh, things haven't clicked so far obviously we discussed it yesterday that we wanted them to end their uh, tournament on a high but they haven't been able to do so but yeah mega auction will be a blessing in disguise for them they um, maybe try to you know change everything from the grassroots level and change the entire team and maybe hopefully things will work out for them in the next season of the ipl now coming to the discussion of the day we have discussed uh, kolkata's uh, disciplined bowling attack we have talked about srh's batting performance but now uh, kolkata's batting was also something that was quite uh, a sight to watch because obviously uh, chasing 115 on a dubai pitch is very easy on the outset but obviously things could have slipped out of kkr's hands if they would have become complacent and things might have become tough for them but one batsman ensured that uh, they easily dominate and easily reach the score and the playoffs uh, seem quite within their grasp and that young lad is shubman gill we discussed about him we have been discussing about him in a lot of uh, discussions after every ipl we talk about how he sometimes becomes uh, a sight to behold sometimes he becomes an overrated player uh, yesterday also we discussed how the other youngsters like venkatesh ayer patikal and ruturaj gayak were performing quite well and uh, shubman gill has been uh, hyped up and uh, is his uh, hype worth the hype or not but then shubman gill once again proving that he has been performing at a very crucial juncture uh, he has been performing quite well for kkr in this season but he performed quite well at a point where kkr needed him the most so the discussion for the day my question for both the panelists do you feel that uh, shubman gill uh, has once again shown up a, a mature performance a mature uh, innings and uh, do you find that he uh, is able to handle the pressure well and do you feel that he'll be able to uh, perform well for kkr at the most crucial of all junctures so first jay and then vipa today when we saw like you know shubman gill perform so today venkatesh ayer went out very early and nobody questions him on like you know going out early today on the base because of the performances he has had before right so shubman gill is also a performance uh, player like you know who has a lot of skill and a lot of talent and he has been performing at a number of times but the kind of hype that was around him we might just have been expecting a bit too much and today we saw him delivering on all of that he in the start he was looking out for his wicket he was exchanging the strikes he was playing shots whenever possible and he bought the team at a pace where anybody could come on and take the baton from him and then still give them a winning match he went out i guess at 93 for 3 and that was when the match was almost over like you know any next person coming in nitish Ra- nitesh rana or maybe dinesh kardik anybody could swoop in and then they could give in the finishing blow even if he got out so 
the kind of performance that we saw from him he stepped up when the team was lacking like you know people there so at that point of time this performance was really matured and he took his time but after a certain point when he started hitting so srh had no answer for them and you should keep in mind that srh is a team that is known for its bowling so even this team had no answer for shubman gill once he got into his rhythm and once he got into his form so that speaks a lot about shubman gill yeah so yeah, what about you dwayne mean... 10 fours by shubman gill tonight hitting on every side of the park yes true uh, it's nice that jay you know brought in the entire team perspective about it you know how uh, his batting colleagues batted around him today in a raj, in a chase of 116 in in a, in such a run scoring game i feel the situation is tailor made for someone like gil who you know can't enforce the rate or when it's 8 or 9 but when it's around 6 or there about you know he will he will play those short stand force today is a very high percentage boundary shots for someone who likes to you know nudge singles here and there very coli type in terms of building his innings the power game is not yet there so it looks nice when you know you are chasing 116 but that being said i feel many times in the past we see a player especially a batsman you know going through a rough patch for a really long time and just before the playoffs semi finals he has one innings at the end of the group stage a good uh, a good half century today you know he would have he would have absolutely loved to win them the game it's important you know for someone to stay there right till the end that did not happen but you know he we we just might see him coming into a better abu dhabi pitch that if suppose considering kkr qualifies he just you know feels that confidence that you know i had that game of 57 my team won and you know tease tease off from there that's what i want shuman gill for the enormous potential that we talk about him all the time so yeah i mean i'm looking for for, for to gill from building it to the from this innings into something even more substantial in the time to come right right so interesting points raised by both of our panelists tonight i mean shubman gill a youngster with a lot of potential but sometimes uh, when you go out of form and your willow is not working at its highest potential you might feel you might start questioning yourself and things might seem bleak and uh, you might feel going into oblivion but we have seen that virat kohli uh, suffering from that phase in the test match against australia and england some years back but then the rest is history so maybe uh, this knock by uh shubman gill in a low scoring game will you know boost his potential and uh, boost his confidence as well now before we move on to the preview part once again trivia questions for both of our panelists tonight a uh, trivia question about kkr because uh, it is the victorious side tonight uh, the first question for our panelist uh, in 2018 kkr had their highest uh, ever ipl score so it was struck against which team and what was the score yeah uh the score was uh, something ar- around uh, it 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 was 246 against kings eleven punjab 245 right 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 correct bang on against punjab yeah. 246 was the uh, was the target and okay, my yeah, second yeah. question is uh, yeah so my second question is uh, which betting duo uh, has the highest partnership for kkr i mean the highest turn partnership in kkr for ipl history for them gautam gambhir and uthapa Uh, Gautam Gambhir is correct, but okay. Chris Lynn. I don't know. I, Chris Lynn. Gautam oh. Gambhir. Chris Lynn. Like okay. they surpassed uh, Uthappa uh, Gautam Gambhir's uh, total target. But yeah, good okay. job, Dwaypan, as always. Yeah. Now we move on to uh, the preview part. Uh, the fiftieth match of IPL. Uh, obviously, uh, could have nothing been better than this. The fiftieth match, and we have the top two teams uh, combating and locking. Horns against each other. Hopefully, we'll see Dwaypan in full DC attire tomorrow. Uh, DC versus I'm, CSK. I'm going to paint my face blue and come tomorrow. Hi, hi, hi. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, that's uh, the confidence that Dwaypan has for his team, DC, the team that he has been supporting all this while. So yeah, uh, a brief preview about tomorrow's match, the 50th match of IPL 2021, DC and CSK. Uh, I mean, we have seen DC and CSK. Uh, dominating each and every side that has come up against them but now very interesting to see how they perform against each other and uh, will they be able to dominate against each other will they be able to perform the natural game or will we see another low scoring game uh, everything rests on tomorrow so my a question to both dwaypan and jay what do you feel who which team are you supporting tomorrow and who do you feel will be the uh, 
batsman to look out for and the bowler to look out for in tomorrow's match so first jay and then dwipe in tomorrow's match like you know i'd be really interested to see what dhoni does with sam karan because he has given him chances <laughs> and they have already made it to the qualifiers so i guess he right. will be getting one more chance maybe so if he gets the chance i would like to see how that pans out and if he doesn't make the cut so then i would be like you know wary of the team that csk is bringing and then dc will it might be really difficult for them with ravindra jadeja and that kind of form win bravo coming in and rituraj gaikwad again like you know hitting staying till the end and giving out these partnership so if win bravo is in the game it is a completely different story for dc what about you dwipe uh-huh. how do you feel will yeah. dc react to such a strong batting lineup by csk yeah the batting la- la- lineup is very st- strong but there are two three notable observations from my side first being uh, very rarely have we seen in an ipl season at the end you know where we see, see a group stage between the top two it's usually dead rubbers when you know there are two teams that have already been kicked out or one team that has something to win and the other team just playing party poopers you know secondly these two teams can potentially play each other thrice in the next 12 to 13 13 days that game tomorrow okay. Qualifier one and then final if one the of the final, teams hopefully, is, yeah. repeats the qualifier two and then comes in the final again, which is the script in most years. Third, whoever wins or loses tomorrow, just takes notes. You know this happened that day against this team. This bowler, this batsman did that. The situational awareness and they won't feel very bad about it. Any team that loses tomorrow, you know, it's just it's about not repeating those mistakes when these two teams meet again when the stakes would be higher. now that being said interesting thing i i wonder if csk does not play with their top players if bravo sits out if chahar sits out if if one of the batters sit out dc wins but dc is not convinced dc still has that feeling that you know the the entire you know entire troop did did it did not even arrive today so we just don't know what will happen in a playoff so yeah that's what happened there can be another that's... scenario where csk is not playing their top team and still dc loses and then dc goes firing <laughs> spiral yeah. out that we yeah, lost that against this right, team right, how will right. we perform Even against the top class yeah. <laughs> yeah that can happen but just yeah, lose so... and make sure you don't make the same mistakes again is the thing yeah, for yeah. both Right, so a lot of permutations and combinations possible for both the teams uh, regarding their uh, squad for tomorrow. But we can only finalize and see the squad tomorrow uh, when the match starts. But yeah, I mean, when you're a part of the top two teams, you have the luxury of playing again and not the you know risk of being kicked out the moment you lose. So a very uh, important point raised by Dwayne that the team that ends up eventually on the losing side tomorrow. will have a lot to learn from and will be taking notes as to what uh, what mistakes not to repeat when the stakes are higher in the eventual match that will become very important yeah so great points made by both of our panelists tonight helping us make sense of uh, the low scoring match between KKR and Hyderabad but looking forward to a very uh, riveting encounter between the on the 50th match between Chennai Super Kings and Delhi Capitals the top two teams and please join us tomorrow once again at the same time uh with our regular panelists will be you know making important points regarding the match so keep uh, like uh, keep liking and commenting and sharing our videos on sports bash so that we are able to provide such content for you guys and do comment if you want us to discuss about a particular team a particular franchise a particular player and we'll be uh trying our best to deliver on that content so uh, that being said uh, this is nishit signing off with my panelists dwipan and jay and until then we we'll see you guys good night